A key vote by Detroit City Council could come tomorrow on District Detroit. The Illich's Olympia Development and billionaire developer Stephen Ross proposing a $1.5 billion project to expand that project. They're also looking for $800 million, though, in tax incentives. And there's the rub. Mara McDonald, live outside LCA. Mara, there has been pressure exerted here from all sides. So uh, the question tonight is how are these votes lining up? Well, Devin, sources are telling me right now that the votes are there. And if this had to be taken, as you and I are speaking right now, that it would probably look like seven to two. Now, all that said, it's fluid. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Let me show you. What's on the table for Millich and Ross? Six new buildings and four renovated ones around the District Detroit property, which is essentially LCA. It would include 467 hotel rooms, 695 mixed income residential units, 1.2 million square feet in office space, and 100,000 square feet of retail. It's $1.5 billion in development, and they're asking for 800 million in tax incentives, which immediately garnered pushback. The district Detroit is not a good deal. So much so, the mayor took time out of his state of the city address to tell Detroiters these tax incentives are necessary and they don't affect general fund monies or their tax bills. How much is that going to cost me? Well, if you're a city of Detroit taxpayer, it's going to cost you zero. Coming out of Detroit school taxes, zero. Coming out of Detroit library taxes, Zero. To sweeten the pot, a $167 million community benefits package has been agreed to by the developers, which may be what pushes this over the finish line. Those underwhelmed by what Olympia has built so far in the district seem to be very interested and hopeful about Stephen Ross's related companies, known for developing Hudson Yards in New York City. Back here live, once again, a vote on all of this likely tomorrow at Detroit City Council, but it wouldn't be the first time if it gets pushed back that it was pushed back. So stand by to stand by on that one. As far as that vote goes, we are told the votes are there. We're live at the District Detroit tonight at LCA. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Of course, we'll be watching closely tomorrow. All right, Mara.